everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, SoCal Shade. So, I'm here to bring you guys something pretty cool. Uh, by now, you, you guys have already gotten a chance to see most of the videos that are popping up here left and right on YouTube. Uh, and the reason behind that is because uh, Abraham had contacted a bunch of us wet shavers on YouTube and asked if we would be willing to do a review for a collaboration between um, West Coast Shaving, Katie's Bubbles, and Oleo Soapworks. So uh, Chris Cullen is from Katie's Bubbles, and you got uh, Vita Perez over at uh, Oleo Soapworks. And uh, what's going to be happening is that they're going to be dropping five new soaps in the next coming days. And... Uh, uh, Katie's Bubbles um, is going to be making a luxury, um, their luxury based uh, cream, which is going to be a vegan style soap uh, or, or crope cream, I think. Um, I have it here. I'm going to check it out now. And uh, Vita is going to be making her uh, tallow duck fat, her, her popular canard formula. So that way you guys can have a choosing of whichever you guys want. And from what I understand, they're making all the scents equally. So, uh, um, Chris is going to make all of uh, those five soaps and Vita is going to make all of those five soaps in her batch. So two different batches, same scents. And uh, the scent that they sent out to me here was uh, Fougere. So this is the, uh, the um, Jojoba um, vegan uh, brand, or not brand, I'm sorry, the um, soap base from uh, Chris Collin. And um, most, all these almost, I think they all look alike, if not, if I'm not mistaken. So this is the Fougere one. And from what I understand, they're going to come out with five cents. It's going to be the Fougere, a Cologne, a Shepra, a Oriental Fragrance. And a, um, there's one called, uh, uh, what's it called? Um... Uh, pear Bershop, which is a pear and um, mixed with menthol, and they're, it's a it's a ta their take on a barbershop scent, and uh, so that's the scent there. And here are the ingredients. Um, if you guys can see that, if you guys can pause that, if you like, you guys can check that out. Um, trying. But uh, yeah, so the release date, there's going to be a release date. Uh, they're trying to release it uh, uh, here in the next coming days on August 20th. Um, so if you guys couldn't see that, because I actually have to wear glasses when I see something this small, but I'm trying to see. It says uh, stearic acid, stearic acid, water, coconut oil, uh, potassium, hydroxide, fragrances, uh, jojoba oil, sodium, hydroxide, sodium lactate and glycerin that was hard to see um so the the label is pretty cool i i like the label i like the way they put the label on the side the side label is actually pretty crinkly here uh, if you guys can see i mean i know that would irritate some people I, I think that would irritate me but that's beside the fact um we're going based on what the scent description is and how this what it what it uh and how it performs so um First impressions on the scent, it smells fantastic. It smells um, like a take of um, uh, Brut, uh, which is I, which is what I matched it up with here. Now, this is the soap, uh, the soap base, and um, from what I understand, it's pretty, it's pretty, um, it's pretty cropy. Um, I actually d put an indent in there, and um, I. I was told it was like a crope, but I thought it was crope, but it's m really more like a cream, a very, very soft cream. Um, not 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 your uh, artist shaving cream, but uh, normally like artisans when they come on with their creams are a little bit more more tougher, but this is really creamy and um, I'm pretty stoked. I'm, I can't wait to try this out. Now, um, a lot of the guys that I've been seeing are, have been doing uh, their lathers in the in the uh, tub and uh, others were putting some on top and then lather on their face um, I'm gonna do it a little different here because 
there's a lot of guys out there, including myself. I love to face that, but I also love to bowl lather. Uh, so I figured since there's nobody's nobody's doing uh, bowl lathers from what I seen, I didn't see anybody doing any uh, bowl lathers. So uh, for those of us out there who love to bowl lather, I'm gonna lather up here in my vintage Paul Revere um, lathering bowl. For those of you guys uh, out there who love to bowl lather, so I'm gonna give you a bowl lather some love, and uh, let's get into it. So. Uh, don't know how much to use. This is the first time using this soap, but you know, let's have fun with it, man. I, I, I got tons of, I got tons of product, man. I ain't got time to be cheaping out on anything. So, I mean, that's a nice, a nice amount. So we're just going to go with that and we'll just go ahead and build up on it. And, uh, going to go ahead and just smear it down in my bowl here. Yeah, this is really, really creamy, really, really creamy more than I expect or more than I thought it would be should I say I'm sorry because um, I didn't know what I was gonna expect um, so that's that there so Abraham thank you very much Chris, uh, Chris calling over at uh, Katie's Bubbles. Thank you very much. Vita at Olio. Thank you very much for uh, allowing us to review uh, these soaps for you guys as well as for West Coast Shaving. So uh, I got my cream down in my bowl there. Let me cover this up. Yeah, so I didn't. I forgot to show you guys about the. That's what they're going based off their scent description. Uh, there's more to it. Um, when I get a chance, I'll put it on the uh, on the screen, so that way you guys can check that out. So, my shaver of choice would be my Rockwell Six S, and I will be going with my number four plate there you guys go and i actually do have a blade loaded in it right now which is a perma sharp love those blades haven't used that that blade in a very long time and this is the blade pack right there for those of you guys who haven't tried them who are just curious and um, my brush of choice will be my 1305 Badger, I'm sorry, Badger, uh, my 1305 bore. And if we're going to do Fougere, let's go ahead and do a Fougere, the Green Brute, the classic stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and start loading. Let me go ahead and uh, ring out my brush there. And... We'll just start loading. So how you all been doing? I hope you guys are all doing well. I actually just now got home from over the road. And um, I, had, I didn't get a chance to review this like uh, on time as many others did. Because um, if those of you guys who don't know who may live in California or don't live in California, we got some crazy fires going on here. Some really bad wildfires and um, I got an alert on all my packages I just did a mail call uh, just the other day and uh, every package that was showing up had a wildfire alert your packages are gonna be delayed my packages were delayed for almost a, a week after the fact so um, I really don't know when the soap was supposed to show up but uh, yeah and then not only that, for um, for those of you guys who don't know or wish to know, uh, my job title is uh, I'm a truck driver. I'm an over the road truck driver. I'm just adding water to it a little bit, little, little by little. I'm an over the road truck driver. So that doesn't help any either. You know, I'm trying to be home on time and I really wanted to review this along with everybody else. But um, that wasn't the case. So I'm just Swirling it all around. 
pumping the air into it and out of it. Just getting it to the consistency that I want. And I think we're almost there. Yeah, so uh, right when I right when I got a notice that my package was here, I go and pick up my package and it's not even here yet. And they said they don't understand why they sent out the notice that my package still wasn't here and it was still on in route. I didn't get it to the following day when I got the notice. So right at that time, I said, I, you know, screw it, it is what it is. Um, I busted out a shave using something else and had to get back out on the road. So that pushed me out a little further out to uh, not, not be able to make, get a chance to uh, review this along with everyone else. So um, we are expected to get um, or get a chance to also review the duck fat base from Oleo. From what I understand, from what everyone else is saying and from what the email said as well. So now we just aerating the heck out of it now. Just aggravating a little bit more. I think I think we're good. So I think we'll go with that. We got tons of lather guys. Um, this stuff is fantastic. Look at this. Great stuff. So we'll go with that. There you guys go. I'm going to go ahead and um, wet my face. Yeah, that's another reason why I like bow lather and pee, because I get to see the lather building up um, and I have to worry about not having enough um, surface area to lather on. Um, so that's pretty cool. All Wow, it smells really good. It feels very thick. And very creamy. We'll go with that. Warm up my razor. And let's get to it. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having um having a great one. And you guys are all well and healthy and having great shades. Yeah, so I just got home not too long ago from over the road. Grab the shower. Because I have to head back out in a few hours. Yeah, so from what I understand, this is uh, Chris's uh, luxury. His luxury um, brand um, soap or cream or base, should I say. My hands are freaking shaking. I just had an energy drink not too long ago.
first passed down. Yeah, this, this smells really good. It does have that reminiscence of a brew. Or similarity, should I say. This stuff feels really thick. Wow, it feels good. Second pass cross grain. Hopefully I don't nick myself. I'm having I'm having a little trouble holding on to this razor from shaking so much. Second pass down, third pass coming up. Look at that, I can shave with just that. Now this stuff feels really good. They're past cross grain, or against the grain, should I say? What I meant to say.
do a little cleanups. Let's see how well, we can get it here. Hmm. All right, let me clean up. Let's get with the alum. Feels great. All right, let me rinse this off. Give me a minute. Give me a second, guys. Sorry about that. All right. I forgot what I was doing. Just rinsed off the alum. Get this freaking hair under control. Ah. Great shave. Let's get in with the brew. After shave. Nice healthy dose. Yeah, the similarities. Definitely there. Not identical, but I think obviously because of Fougere scent, right? Fantastic. Now, I didn't do a slickness test. There's no need to. That stuff is slick, guys. I felt it on my fingers. It, I, I kind of had a little problem trying to take it off. Um, it's it's slick stuff. There's no need to even why it's it's ju it's just slick. But I mean, let me just reinvigorate this here. I mean, we still got there's still tons here. I mean, this is great stuff. Let me pull this out. Show this to you guys here. Great stuff. 
Um, I really dig this. I mean, here you guys go. I mean, this is this is great stuff, man. Um, I really can't. I can't complain. There's plenty of water in there. It was very, very slick, very thick. Um, definitely, I would say it's an, a luxurious cream. A cream base, should I say. You rinse off my brush. So, we went with Fougere from uh, West, uh, West Coast Shaving, and this is the um, Jojoba, the Jojoba Oil uh, Shaving Cream. They're vegan uh, based, or veg uh, veg veg vegetals uh, uh, based, whatever you guys want to call it um from katie's bubbles this is the collaboration from katie's bubbles and i think katie's bubbles only and then uh, uh vita makes her own base which would be the canard duck fat formula so this is uh, chris Collin over at katie's bubbles fantastic stuff man I, I can't i can't recommend it anymore it's it really is i highly suggest for you guys to pick that up when it when it comes out uh, which will be um august 20th this is the boar brush that I use, the 1305. Beautiful brush, really breaking in very nicely. Uh, we went in with the Rockwell 6S on the number four plate, if you guys can see that there, with a Perma Sharp blade. Fantastic. And went in with the uh, Brute um aftershave uh splash give me a second guys i'm actually uh got another weeper here but uh great stuff guys i highly recommend you guys picking this up uh this is my fault in a hurry that's what the phone was about <laughs> i gotta get going um i'm actually supposed to be out of here now but guys i hope you guys enjoyed that because i did if you guys like what you see please like favorite share and subscribe down below thanks for joining me thank you guys all at west coast shaving uh vita uh mike uh mike uh, chris colin um over at case bubbles oleo soap works thank you guys very much i hope you guys enjoyed that i'll catch you guys on the next one y'all stay safe out there later